So here we have a relative motion type of problem where we have three vectors that we're going to combine together. And in this case, what we have is a plane that is flying north at 500 kilometers per hour. And then we're told it's receiving a crosswind at a velocity of 100 kilometers an hour from the northwest. So in other words, it's coming from the northwest. So what we're going to have is a vector that is going to go in that direction. And we know that this is 100 kilometers per hour. And we know the angle in here is equal to 45 degrees. Now, point here is that if you are given a direction that is northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, those are precisely 45 degrees. And any other angle aren't referred to in those terminologies. Then what we're working out here is what is the now the ground velocity? In other words, what does the plane appear to do from the ground? And so what we have here is a resultant vector that is that vector here. That's the, what the plane is now doing. It's traveling a little bit slower and it's moving off course. And of course, this is a velocity. So therefore, we don't only need to know what this actual value is, and we're going to call that R, but we also need to know what the angle here is relative to our north, east and so forth plane. Now you could, in this case, work out what these values are in their correct SI units in terms of meters per second. You don't have to do that because the answer here is going to be also going to be in the case of kilometers per hour. That's what I'm going to do in this case. So our R squared is equal to 500 squared plus 100 squared minus two by 500 by 100 multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees. Now, when you calculate that out, you can work that out yourself. I'm not going to do the mathematics for you. You're going to get a value of R equal to 435.3 kilometers per hour. Now, that's not the end of the question. Obviously, this is a vector quantity, so we also need a direction. So this R here, I'm going to use the symbol rho here, just a, a different letter. It's related to the letter R. And so what we have is that the sine of the Greek letter rho divided by the opposite side, which is 100, is equal to the sine of 45 divided by this r that we have here of 435.3. And when you calculate that value, you're going to get a value of 9.3 degrees. We haven't finished yet. That's the angle in here. Now we just need to describe the direction. And so the way I always talk to my students about that is if this angle is measured here from a vertical or from a horizontal, you start with that one. So we start in the north and we're heading in this case towards the east. And so therefore the angle here is 9.3 towards the east. I hope that's helped you understand that. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.